there was a terrible, terrible indictment on the Republican movement at, at that stage because people were saying, A or A, I run away. And there was a, a stigma attached to the, the Irish Republican Army. Around the Falls Road, the situation became critical. Again, the IRA was absent. Veterans improvised defence. The old crowd came out and they, they handed over a few of the guns. It was a bird and we got... Some people had shotguns and two two rifles. One was the veteran Billy McKee, who later became a member of the Provisional IRA's Army Council. He was sentenced for possession of a weapon. They tried to come down to burn the fall, uh, hers in the falls, and we went up and there was a bit of shooting there. Nationalist areas of Belfast were ablaze. Loyalists were on the rampage. Catholics fled for their lives, fearing a massacre. Civil war seemed imminent. The British government sent in the army and, in the process, became directly involved in the province it had neglected for years. The request for troops was answered, and by Sunday, Belfast had peace of a sort. British soldiers, not the IRA, saved the Catholics. They were welcomed as heroes. But although the government committed troops, it left political control and control of security in the hands of the Unionist government at Stormont. A new chapter began. 3-3, three, three. Uh, we have found some more bombs, but they are behind the roadblock. Do you wish us to remove them, over? Were you, as an IRA man, pleased to see the arrival of British troops? I would have to say that we were relieved to see them arrive, yeah. 